gentlemen, we are in a 2015 C7 Stingray. For some reason, the designers don't like calling it a base model, but in other words, it's a base model. A lot of people have already said how good it is, so I probably won't waste your time too much because it's a damn good car. I can already tell you coming from my C6 review, ironically, from last December, this car is a completely different car. 100%. The interior is how the interior should be. It doesn't share the steering wheel from a damn Cobalt. I don't know what GM was thinking with that interior because it was just cheap. Which I understand that the thing about Corvettes is performance per dollar and they had to keep the cost down, blah, blah, blah. But in here, you would mistake this for an exotic almost if you weren't a car guy. But like other Corvettes as well, the first impression you get is that it is very wide. And you kind of have to use what we like to call the hips to kind of guide where you're going on the road. This car in particular is not stock and has Corsa Extreme exhaust on the back, which sound glorious. And it really wakes up the car. A lot of the times Corvettes are very, very quiet from the factory, which many people like because, you know, they get their dream sports car when they're older. But this really screams and it sounds fantastic. Along with the heads up display, there's also a bunch of different modes in the car. There are five different modes in this car. Eco, weather, touring, sport, and track, which I'm currently driving right now and I jump straight to it. The sport mode alone, when I first started driving with the car, was smooth on its own. So I can't imagine how great this is on a road trip. This does have the four cylinder option where no, not an actual four cylinder, but where you turn off four of the cylinders, you can get up to 42 miles to the gallon on the highway. Along with that, it is a seven speed manual transmission, which blows my mind. At the same time though, to keep cost down for production, they put these paddles in all of them, which is pretty great, but because you can turn the rev match option on and off, or you can do like I'm doing and just rev match yourself. and it's awesome. The materials are so much better. The steering wheel is fantastic. All the controls are easy to understand. And if you were to have an automatic with the paddles, the paddles are great. They're in a perfect position. Also, everything is aimed towards the driver. A very, very interesting kind of shape right here. The screen here is pretty great too. It gives you everything you possibly ever need. So I understand why a lot of people just get the cheapest model of this car in their gravy. This is a 2LT, so there are a few upgrades inside. The car makes 460 horsepower and 460 torque, so you have a nice, even power band. This is the new LT1 rather than the LS motor used in everything else. The LS motors, of course, as everybody knows, they're one of the best motors ever made out of GM. But at the same time, they have a very beefy like punch to them right when you get on it, and then it has kind of a even torque curve. But with this, it revs a lot, so let's do. <laughs> this car is planted, absolutely planted. It's great. There's hardly any body roll. And the brakes are good. <laughs> this is just such, such a better car than the C6. The C6 is still an amazing platform. It's great for going fast, but as an all-around car, I will, oh my gosh, this is, I dive. yeah, it's great. Another awesome thing is the Corvette has its own camera in the front that you can use for recording. And with the recording, you can see pretty much just about anything and it can data log as well. This is a target top and it is very easy to put back on and off. And we did it in a matter of maybe 10 seconds. There is a little trick though, where the rubber seal, you gotta make sure it's not kind of hanging out at all. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Would I wanna put it on in the rain? No, <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's fine, it's gravy. Much easier than a lot of other cars. The tire setup on this car, they are staggered. It's 245 in the front and 285 in the back. So nice beefy back tires. It does come with a rev matching option as well. So if I slow down and say go to third, 
I didn't do that. What if I slow down to second? I didn't do that. It didn't take five minutes in this car to get like 10 cell phone pictures of people waving already. And I think that's what cars like this should do. They should make people's day. And yeah, Corvettes are very common, but there's a reason they're very common. It's a good car. And especially the Stingray. I remember when they first started coming out, I remember seeing the rendering of it first. And I didn't like it. And I was like, I don't know how to feel about that. It, it almost looks like a Viper combined with like a some kind of Ferrari. I don't know. I didn't know how to feel about it. But then I went to the Woodward Dream Cruise in Detroit and saw it for the very first time in this color. And I was just like, GM, I give you a golf clap. And if you think about it, it is one of the best bang for your buck cars you could ever buy, ever. And the Corvette name has always been associated with that, and it's still true to this day. Just with the Stingray name, they could have just BS'd it and people would have still bought it, but they didn't. They really worked hard at making this car awesome. This car is on completely stock suspension, and it's more rigid than some cars I've driven with full coilovers and anti-roll bars. I would take this car all over a ton of the stuff on my channel just as an overall package. And this doesn't even come with a sway bar because it's the standard pack. So that even amazes me more. The clutch on this car is extremely light. You'd think it'd be a big, beefy clutch, but it really is not. And it's really easy to drive, you know, other than the exception of it being wide. Like a lot of people I think are gonna have a hard time adapting to that when they first start driving it, but 20 minutes in, you, you kind of got the rhythm. The shifter as well is pretty short, which I love, and it's not too notchy, if that makes sense. It has a little bit of slack to it, but you definitely know when you're in gear, 100%. It is a really common mistake in this car to go from fourth gear to seventh gear, so that's pretty ridiculous. But you can totally see why, because your instinct wants you to go this way, and you just probably accidentally just pop it right in. Is there a lot of body roll around the corner, like I said earlier? No. But there's like that much, and that's what I guess the Z51 package is, because they have a sway bar in the back. So if you just put on a sway bar, you're golden. I think that would really fix any kind of, um, any kind of confidence issues around corners. to drive fast. I think that's a very good way to put it. Everything is in sync with each other like a symphony. And I could do that over and over and over consistently, for sure. All right, so you guys know the car's already good, so let's just let's just have fun. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's so easy to drive fast. I love it. Awesome. Smiles per gallon. I can do this in a second, yep. You can hit 60 miles an hour in first gear. That's pretty damn impressive. The Z51 though is geared more for acceleration, so you have to shift to get to 60. But with this, they just keep on going. If you notice back there after I launched it, I, I barely had to shift as it is, it just keeps going. The top speed when it's bone stock is 186 miles an hour. So you're rolling out with a car that is a little bit above $50,000. Even the heads up display has a little shift light to let you know when to shift in the very corner of your eye as you're focused on the road, so it's really handy. Some cars, when you rev them out, the transmission's like, no, make it stop, and it doesn't wanna let you in the gear because it's just revving so fast. But with this, everything, like I said before, is in perfect sync with each other. Alright guys.
guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this quick little review video of me completely pretty much sucking up to the Corvette Stingray. But that is okay because I'm pretty sure we can all agree that GM did an amazing job with this car. So with that, I want to thank Brent so much for driving all the way from Fairfax County to let me drive his beautiful new C7. And I will see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a great one. Did you text me or anything? Okay, because my phone's like going crazy, so. I had a mini <laughs> heart attack. <laughs> Why? Because I was at <laughs> in that little bunk. Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> the Smurf is not one with you. <laughs> oh my god. What the is going on? I shifted on my chair. I was like, <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>